Alexa, you don't, you don't like butterflies. I mean, yeah, it's also because you're scared of them, but like you won't wear this because you don't, you don't like butterflies. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day, what is up? So springtime is upon us and as I've been starting to prepare for, you know, spring related videos, especially spring fashion trend related videos, I have noticed that there are a lot of trends that I think are cute, but I just know I won't wear them. And it kind of got me thinking into, as I've grown in my personal style, I've learned that there are, you know, different fashion styles that I truly love and I think are super cute. And in the past I would buy them because they were cute and then realize that I just don't wear them. And I would always think it was like something wrong with me when in reality, it just either doesn't go with my personal style or I just truly never gravitate towards it. And it's been something I've been, again, learning, especially when I'm going thrifting that just because I think something's cute doesn't mean I'm actually going to wear it. I ended up writing down like 16 different fashion trends I won't be buying and why to almost remind myself so I don't get sucked in and buy them when I know I won't actually wear them. So as I was pulling up my list, I realized I have a lot of shoes on here and I definitely would say shoes are probably my biggest weakness where even if I know that the particular shoe style, especially like a platform, if I know I will, I will not be able to walk in them, I still will purchase them. And so that's something that I like actively have to fight against um, because I love shoes. But realistically, if I can't walk in them, they basically just become a home decor item. So I felt like this first one was perfect because it's not even necessarily that I think it's cute. I just know that it would end up somehow seducing me and making me want to buy them, which are moon boots. And again, I don't even think like they are that cute, but they have a style where I feel like I could end up wanting them at some point. There's no reason for me to own moon boots. And I feel like unless you live in the snow, it's not the most practical item, but I also understand that there are elements of it that really go with my personal shoe preference, which are big platform boots. And although, I mean, are they platform? I honestly haven't really like delved into the world of moon boots. I've just seen a couple people wear them and talk about them. And again, I'm like, oh, like I don't really think they're cute, but I just know that there may become a time where I think I want them. And I'm just saying here, I do not want them. I should not own them. I will not wear them. I don't even know how I would style them with my personal style. I feel like you have to have a very, you know, specific closet or you're just one of those people that can literally put anything together and like that's your personal style, which is awesome. Just for me, that's not me. The next fashion trend are colorful sunglasses. This is an item that every, I would say every year, there comes a time where I'm like, huh, I want some colorful sunglasses or honestly sunglasses in general, but I, j I will not wear them. I even like sunglasses that protect me from the sun. I know I should wear them. I just honestly will not. I feel like specifically colorful sunglasses because I have seen how well they do with certain outfits. Like I've put on outfits recently and I've been like, if I put on some colorful sunglasses, this outfit would be better, but like, I would never actually wear them. I would wear them for a photo and that's it. And like, I don't I don't wanna buy stuff just to take photos in. The next trend I've seen a lot recently. I mean, I, it's not a new fashion style or anything like that, but with the rise of ballet core, I've been seeing a lot of people rocking leg warmers. And I think a lot of these trends sometimes have to do with the climate that I live in where like, I, I mean, my legs are okay in the cold. Like it doesn't get that cold, so I don't really need leg warmers, but I understand in the aspect of like actual like dance and like ballet to help with like cramping and stuff, but they've definitely kind of come into more of like casual wear. And again, realistically, I do not need to own these. I don't even know how I would wear them with my personal style. I feel like the only like exception I will give is if I end up doing like a thrifting ballet core aesthetic type of video and that's definitely on my list and I am tempted but I'm almost like 
but you don't need to buy the leg warmers. I feel like that's also why I had to put it on the list where it's like, okay, you can do ballet core without buying leg warmers if I know I, I will not wear it. Okay, this one's like pretty obvious uh, that I don't like this trend, but I just wanted to put it on here, which is anything low rise, any low rise skirts or jeans or pants. I started to kind of think in my head like, oh, like maybe I would like low rise. Maybe I should try it. And technically I did try it for a video and that really solidified that I am not a low rise person. I think whenever fashion trends come out that you were so not gravitated towards and you still don't like them, but they just keep getting almost like pushed at you. It's tough because you're like, oh, is there something wrong with me? Should I try it? Should I just like try to make it work to be like trendy? But no, wear whatever makes you happy, whether it is low rise or high rise or mid rise or no rise. A fashion trend I think is interesting, but I, I know I would never wear it, which are subversive basics. And I'm all about basics and I think it's great for somebody that maybe likes more neutrals and like muted colors, but wants to do something maybe a little bit more interesting than just a t-shirt and jeans. I've definitely realized I'm not a cutout person, like a cutout person in the like clothing, whether it's pants that have a cutout, unless they're like, holes in the knees or something like especially with tops i just i can't i can't handle it something i also like i feel like it can be a pro or a con um i'm taking it as a pro as being very picky with fashion a lot of the times where i just like get confused by the way something looks on me so i just won't wear it and i feel like subversive basics for me i just would be like there's so much going on but I think the people that rock it absolutely rock it. I've spoken about this one a couple of times and I have to remind myself every single time I see a pair of cowboy boots that I will not wear them. I've bought multiple cowboy boots and every time I never wear them and it kills me because I think they are honestly really cute and anytime I see somebody in an outfit with cowboy boots, I tell myself that I want some and then I'm like, no, you don't want them. Literally every time I go to the thrift store now, I don't know what's going on, but they always have cowboy boots and like cute cowboy boots. And I'm like, what the heck? It's like literally trying so hard to get me to buy them, but I, I should not and I will not because the only pair, I've like put this as a rule for myself that I will not purchase any cowboy boots unless they look like these. So like the round front with like more of a chunky type of heel, it very much reminds me of the like honky tonk cowboy boots by Jeffrey Campbell. Like I think that's my style of cowboy boot that I would actually wear. Whereas the other ones like the pointed toe and like there isn't a heel. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't look good on me. But again, it looks amazing on everyone else. And I've just accepted that it's not, it's not me, it's the cowboy boots. I feel like this next one was more popular during fall 2021, but I've still seen some things on it for like 2022 spring fashion trends, which are quilted jackets. And I wanna say in the beginning when I kind of saw like people rocking them and I've even seen people obviously like DIY them, which I think is amazing. I like wasn't really into it at first for some reason. I think I like had never really just thought about a quilted jacket. I don't, I feel like I had never really seen a quilted jacket before, but recently I've been seeing like these really pretty pastel quilted jackets and I am kind of, I'm, I'm really liking them and I kind of want them, but I know I will not wear them. I'm definitely more into like blazers right now and specifically leather blazers. Like if I'm gonna wear a jacket, it's gonna be my leather blazer. Honestly, I feel like this would be another rule where I will not allow myself to have one unless I made it myself. So even if I saw like a quilted jacket at the thrift store, I am not going to buy it. I want to put in the work if I really want it and try to make one. And if I don't end up making Making one, it means that I actually didn't really want it. I feel like it's a nice little test. I know a lot of people will wait like a month or two to buy a specific fashion trend or a certain style. I think I do that a lot with some trends sometimes to kind of make sure that I actually like the clothing item and that it's not just because it's trendy. And so with this, it's like, no, I will not have one unless I make it myself. <laughs> Similar to the leg warmers kind of becoming more popular with ballet core, flat ballet shoes have been honestly like everywhere lately. I like the style of ballet flats, but to be honest, I know I would rather have a little bit of a heel. So this kind of style is what I would be looking for if I was going to buy the like 
ballet style flat shoe. So it's not really like a flat, has a little bit of a heel, but it's like the same idea. And I wanted to put it on this list because I just know I won't wear flat shoes. Like it's so ironic because when I was younger, I only wore flat shoes and now I'm just like platforms all the way. Okay, this one I'm actually like kind of sad about because Again, I think I really, really like the style, but I just, I don't wear them, which are loafers and specifically like the Prada style loafers. I've seen some dupes and like similar ones. And so I'm kind of saying just loafers in general because I really like the style. I think they are so cute. I think honestly, they're super classic. But when I did have loafers, Anytime I was getting ready, I would like look at my shoes and be like, okay, am I gonna wear my loafers today? Or am I gonna wear my like Doc Martens? And I always chose the Doc Martens that are more like an Oxford style, whereas the loafers, I just never actually gravitated towards. And I think I ended up putting them on Poshmark or something. So I am just reminding myself that you will not wear the loafers as much as you think that you will, you will not wear them. <laughs> this next trend I've seen in different ways, kind of with sprained fashion. I think it kind of reminds me of like, like the cat suit style, but I've seen just boiler suits and jumpsuits in general becoming really popular. And I really, I, it's tough because I think sometimes I like them and sometimes I don't. For me, jumpsuits, again, I think they are awesome, but I never feel comfortable in them. Honestly, the only type of like jumpsuit style I like are an overall style. And so I've had to, again, remind myself that I will not wear them. And there are the, I guess, boiler jumpsuits from Big Bud Press or Bed big bud press is that what it's called i don't remember their jumpsuit boiler suits i think are so cool and i feel like it's amazing when you like don't know what to wear you just throw it on it's basically like a dress like it's a full outfit and you're good to go but there's something about the way that jumpsuits feel on me maybe it's the proportions of my body they just never fit me how i would want them to fit me i don't know lately i've just been like kind of itching for them but again like any type of jumpsuit i've never actually tried a boiler suit but i just i know i wouldn't wear it and like i just i have to accept that about myself this next one are cargo pants and i feel like this goes into even like side pockets on jeans like i guess cargo style anything I just know I will not wear what I have in my closet. I don't think will go, or at least how I personally would want it to go. Okay, this one's a really random one. Remember when I talked about like being picky? Well, I will not be buying anything with uh, butterflies. For some reason, springtime this year is all about butterflies. I've been seeing so many butterfly prints and just things with butterflies on them. And if you guys do not know this about me, I'm actually quite scared of butterflies. I don't know. I just, I, I do not like them. Um, wearing a butterfly, I mean, maybe it'll help me get through my fear, but like, meh. but recently I almost bought something that had a bunch of butterflies on it. And I was like, Alexa, you don't, you don't like butterflies. I mean, yeah, it's also because you're scared of them, but like you won't wear this because you don't, you don't like butterflies. I feel like this one I recently came to terms with, which are funky wavy printed pants. Now I do have some funky pants of my own. I have even like zebra pants that my friend Jenna Phipps made me. Sometimes with pants, I feel like I almost have to buy different style of pants because I don't want to seem boring because I just wear jeans or like trousers and stuff. But but I'm, I'm okay with boring. I don't even think I necessarily have boring style, but I'm like, oh, people wanna see different stuff and all that jazz. But like, I would not wear any of the funky prints. I'm so happy I like didn't really buy any last year and the ones I do have are actually what I will wear and what I do wear. And the last fashion trend, I don't even, it's not necessarily like a spring 2022 fashion trend, but because of the rise of the funky, like cool style tights, which is interesting. I don't want to have funky wavy printed pants, but funky wavy printed tights, I'm honestly all about, but printed, socks like i know for a lot of people that's kind of like a staple in their wardrobe where they have different style socks and everything different colored socks i really want to get into funky cool socks but i always lose my socks i always will lose any socks that have a funky print or are colorful i literally own one pair of pink socks and i'm just waiting for the day that i'm gonna end up losing them somehow so i have just 
accepted that I am a white sock person because it's like, oh, if I lose the other one, technically I have all these other white socks, so it'll be okay because they all go together. Any type of funky sock I've ever bought, I always lose them and I wish I was different, but I'm just not and I'm accepting the person that I am. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments or right down below if there are any spring 2022 fashion trends that you won't be buying this year. Again, I think there's nothing wrong with being picky about like what you buy. And even if it's so small as like the sock thing where I know I will just lose it so I won't buy it, I think that's okay. It's so much easier to say no to fashion trends and styles that you don't like, but the ones where you do like them, but again, you just, you you just know yourself it's so much harder and i think that's i i do get sucked into it and that's what my hope is for this video to like go back to when i'm like oh i really want some colorful sunglasses or some moon boots i can just re-watch this video and be like oh no I am okay. <laughs> if you guys would like to see my face again, then make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandjoin83. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.